what a way to start the uh, video here at Sweetbriar College because uh, it's going to be a good day of hiking. But look at that, isn't that beautiful? Little 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 baby uh, uh, geese uh, along with their, their, well I guess that might be their mom and pop, I don't know. I just thought I'd get it's to start the video in this fashion it was just outstanding, isn't it? Look at them, oh isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness, I could just sit here and pull up a chair and just enjoy that view, but uh, I gotta get a hike in. Uh, let's get a view of the lake here. This is where, this is called the boathouse here at Sweetbriar College. Of course, there's the boathouse over there, uh, which uh, used to have caution tape in there, I don't know. And then this is new because there's three, uh, I guess, canoes for the students here up there by the sign. Um, I'm gonna go up uh, this just this road here, just past the boathouse, and there's a trail that goes off this way. Um, just kind of trying to show you. That's the only trail I found the last time I was here. There's supposed to be trails everywhere. But uh, there, there they are, they're going on. But I had to get this also on the video. Look at these things. I don't know what they are. Uh, they're just, you know, the, like little miniature tents, I guess. I, 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 you tell me, man. I, I'm looking at them going, all right, they're kind of camouflaged. Why are they sitting here at the boathouse with uh, nobody around? Of course, I'm the only person here. Um, but, uh, and then who knows what that building, that's, that says Department of Environmental Studies. There you go. So that's, uh, that, that's what that's about. Maybe, uh, you, I don't know. All right, well, let's get going on the trail. There they are right there again, one last shot. All right, let's get hiking. So in, in case you haven't seen my previous videos, this is the trail system here at uh, Sweetbriar College and uh, it's quite extensive. I want to do this Kentucky Ridge Trail and I'm, I'm going to go in search of that today. I don't, I can't because I don't know, I don't know how to get there. I just, I can't figure it out. I'm trying to find, where the heck is the boathouse? You know, this is where you, you are here would be great. And in fact, the, the trail that we're gonna do is not even on this map today. I just found it the last time I was here, but just read a little bit. Sweetbriar is set on 3,250 acres in the Blue Ridge Mountain foothills, creating a landscape for learning. Man, I tell you what, if you got the money, this would be, <laughs> this would be a great school to go to. Oh my God, the beauty here is just astounding. Um, so I just wanted to show you this, uh, this map and let's get going on up the road here and uh, get to the trail that I found. Um, and, and like I said, I mean, just hold on, let's just get back on this thing. I'm going to, I'm going to try to find the boathouse and show you because I, I, I can't find the trail. All right, hold on. So this is, uh, here at Sweetbriar, there's a little neighborhood up here. I actually drove my car up there the last time I was here. Man, what a place to live, huh? Wouldn't that be fantastic? But uh, this is uh, this is where we're going. The Oki, O-O-K-I-E, Oki Trail in Sweetbriar College, and this is what it looks like uh, getting started. And yeah, man, I'm looking forward to this day. I haven't been out hiking, and here's the lake to our left. Man, look at the beauty of this, and I'm all by myself. Man, I'm loving every minute of this. So anyway, I thought I'd cut the video on to show you another section of the trail and then I, we've got this little offshoot let's get a shot of the lake here huh that's uh man I tell you this is where you want I have a fishing pole oh my goodness and look look at here now why wouldn't you put a picnic table well they got a little fireplace right there that's kind of cool I guess that's what that area is about but I would also have a picnic table there that'd be a great place to as a student just to come and have a picnic but let's look at the lake real quick <clears throat> this is a uh, absolutely gorgeous oh my gosh i mean oh look at the fish look at the fish right there man you could just literally throw your hook in the water and grab you a couple perch wow man that's crazy they were right there okay so there's a lot of fish in this lake <laughs> so maybe they get fit there, there, there they are see them well you probably might not be able to see them on the video okay but this is a view of the lake let's just get a panoramic i'll be quiet for a second Imagine going to college here. What college has this? It's insane. All right, let's get going. Thought I'd get this on the video as I approach. 
Look at that. That's a uh, that's fairly recent construction. That's uh, the, or a lot of new wood. Uh, let's see what uh, what it has to say on the sign here. Uh, this is Martha Uki, Hayes Cooper 76 Bird Observation Deck. This bird observation deck is named in honor of Martha Uki Hayes Cooper 76, while a student at Sweetbriar Biology Professor Ernest Buck our shaped and guided Uki's. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Or unique logical research. She was also a regular aide de camp on morning bird walks with students and alumni on that. And I'm just going to get it up close. I don't want to read the whole thing because it'll get too long in the tooth on the video. But I'm just going to try to get. Let's just bring the text so you can you can pause there, and then pause there, and then pause there. Okay. Well, let's get, man, look at this, man. So you could just sit here. Um, man, can you imagine if, uh, being a student here? You want to come out and do some to do some hardcore studying. You could just come right here on the, uh, and just sit here and uh, just look out at the lake and uh, read your textbooks and, uh, you know, bring a pen and paper. Look, oh, there's a, well, that's the reason there's a dam. I guess we're going to be hiking. Well, no, I can't hike across that. Man, this might be the end of the trail. Dang, nab it can't be well maybe so all right i'm gonna have to go hiking around the campus again and try to find some other trails but this is the view from the, the bird deck here pretty cool there you go just kind of walk around fortunately if, if it's for bird viewing <laughs> i haven't seen well wait i mean we saw the the uh, geese coming in so I just can't believe there isn't some trails across the way here. I don't know how you get over there. I'm, I'm going to try to find a way over there. There's got to be something. All right. So before I move on from the bird deck, I wanted to get the construction on this thing. Look at this, this uh, wood. I mean, isn't that? That's absolutely beautiful. And of course, it's got this. Uh, I mean, this all looks like recent construction. And what's cool? Check this bench out. Man, I'd just like to come here and just. Spend a day reading a book, man. Wouldn't that be awesome? Holy moly. All right, that's. I just wanted to get the construction of the bird deck for you. All right, let's see if we can find a trail. So I thought I'd get you a view from the dam. Don't want to fall off here. <laughs> so I'm going, going nice and slow because I'm an old fart and scared to death. But there's a little waterfall with the, with the look behind the dam. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. There's a, there's a something down there. What, so what is that, groundhog? Look at him. Look at him. There he goes. There he goes. Boy, I cut the video on at the right time. Look how fast that guy is. Holy moly. He is just hauling butt. Wow. And then, of course, from the, uh, from the dam here, we're looking out at the lake. And there's the uh, viewing platform right up here. Now, I notice the trail is actually going up into the woods this way. So let's get, uh, let's get back on the trail. I'm glad I brought the walking stick because that is it's going to be a pretty steep incline going up that hill. But uh, man, we're just getting the wildlife today, aren't we? <laughs> that little guy was fast as hell. Oh my goodness. And then to see the creek here, that's beautiful. I'm glad I walked out here. So now that I'm away from the dam, thought I'd show you a bit of what the Yuki Trail looks like here. I mean, you're, you're getting back into the forest here. This is really nice. I'm really enjoying it. See, it's well marked. They got lots of, lots of symbols on here. And I'm glad I got the walking stick because you are kind of hiking along the side. Now, it ain't like uh, some trails I did on Liberty Mountain. <laughs> I mean, it was, that, was, uh, that was something else. But uh, you can see this is, uh, it's, it's going to be slow going just a little bit, but it's uh, very beautiful. I mean, you're back here in the woods. And uh, here's another trail sign that says Buck Trail. I don't know where that would be. Huh. I thought I was on Uki Trail, who knows. But uh, look at all these old trees, man. Look look at the size of that tree. Can you see that? I mean, that's beautiful, isn't it? Yes, we have preserved some things in this country that are outstanding. And uh, boy, if you get a chance to hike uh, Sweetbriar College, I highly recommend, what did I tell you? I think we're gonna cross over that creek and head on over to the other side over here. Let's see what happens. So somehow I went from the Uki Trail to the Buck Trail. I don't even know, I just kind of following along. But uh, this is kind of what it looks like. Um, very, very beautiful. Holy moly, of course at this time of the year, here in 
Virginia, I mean, I got lucky. I, I mean, it's like 89 degrees today and that, people going, it's gonna be hot, it's gonna be hot. I said, oh man, you don't know hot, I'm from Florida. <laughs> You know, I mean, this is great. I feel I'm, I'm I feel like I'm in air conditioning right now, you know. But uh, you see what it's doing. I like the up and down. I guess we're gonna cross the creek up here. Well, let's keep on going. So I don't know what they're doing here. And now it's Mabel Trail, and uh, it says horse crossing on the tree. And you know, I guess you could cross there, but it looks like there's a bridge right over there. So I'm gonna try. Going down Mabel here a little ways and let's get to see if we can get to that bridge real quick. Um, boy, this is fantastic, isn't it? So there's the, yeah, so the trail's gonna make a left. Now I guess, uh, well, Mabel goes, oh, okay. The hunt trail's going to the left. We'll stay on that. And you could take Mabel to the right, but I'm gonna keep going back into the woods and uh, enjoy this uh, bridge. Look at that bridge. Isn't that cool looking? Got the big logs underneath it. Uh, very nice, very nice. So I thought I did a view of the creek as we go over it on the bridge. This is the bridge here, and then here's the creek going the other way. I always like looking at creeks, don't you? I think it's beautiful. When, man, I tell you, as kids, I, we used to catch the crayfish. Too bad we didn't know how to cook them and eat them. But uh, and there's a little stream actually come feeding into the creek. Pretty cool. All right, let's keep going. Back into the woods we go. So you could hike around back here for a while. Look at here. So hunt trails going to the right, and that's where we're gonna go. And, uh, and then I guess, I don't know what main trail is. And the main trail's going up into the woods this way. Woo, hard to believe there's nobody here but me. All right, let's keep going. So I think I'm, I'm on the trail and uh, I have been warned uh, that it is tick season, so I'm kind of, you know, that's why I'm wearing white socks, uh, so I can look down, because uh, I will tell you, I mean, as a kid, I used to get ticks all over me all the time, and uh, so, uh, you know, I imagine as the summer goes on, if you do do, do these trails, you're, you're going to have to be checking, you know, because they're going to they're gonna get on you. But uh, that's the only thing I know of I, that I recall. And of course, the, I imagine at some point the gnats are going to be out. I mean, I'll tell you, when I used to play golf here in Lynchburg, Virginia, I mean, they just, they were on you by the thousands, just biting on your ears and everything. Of course, back then, I didn't know to wear a floppy hat. I just wore a baseball cap, and, which is kind of dumb. But uh, you can see we're just hiking along by the stream. It's quite beautiful. I'm enjoying it. And uh, let's see what happens. But we are, <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of forest here. Look, look at that waterfall right there. Isn't that beautiful? Man, this is probably one of the, well, maybe because of the weather too, but I mean, this is one of the most beautiful hikes I've been on in quite some time without killing myself like I did on Liberty Mountain. Of course, having the leaves coming in at this time of the year makes it very, very beautiful. I mean, it's, uh, it's springtime here and uh, I'm enjoying the day. I'm gonna spend all day here too. We're gonna make a lot of video, but, uh, I'll wait till I see something different. It's, I think it's just gonna continue along in this fashion. So one thing I will warn you about on these uh, trails and, and, and people have told me about it though, because of uh, the whole COVID uh, idiocy that everybody uh, went lost their minds about, um, they haven't maintained these trails very well here at Sweetbriar. In fact, uh, some of them I can't even find, you know, when you look at the sign and uh, so, you know, you've, you're gonna hike these kind of at your own risk back here, uh, trying to figure out, the, you know, you might run into some things. Although you saw that bridge was in good shape, that was good. And uh, so, and of course the viewing stand I thought was very nice, but you can kind of see the, well, the leaves are kind of ruffled. So somebody's been back here besides me, but uh, let's just look at the view here. This is, this is kind of what, look at that tree. Oh man, I just happened to catch that out of the corner of my eye, good. God, look at this thing. It starts down here, goes up, 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 up. <laughs> what a monster, holy moly. And look at this one that's down. I mean, obviously that one fell down, but I mean, good guy, that was a huge tree too. This is really quite extraordinary. All right. So just when I say that these trails may not be well maintained, look at this. They've obviously come through and cut, cut, cut right through here. 
So, uh, and I don't, I mean, it looks like this has probably been down a while, but still, at least it's, uh, it's a trail maintained. I mean, or the other thing I wanted to point out is, man, I mean, you are back in the woods on these trails. I mean, I, I have, you can't even hear no car noise, no airplane noise, no nothing. It's just, uh, just a beautiful hike, you know, right here by the creek. I don't know how far this is going to go, but uh, I certainly am enjoying it. And you're getting a little bit of up and down. You can see I'm starting to go up at this point. So that's good to get the heart rate up. All right. So I'm kind of sitting here going, okay, where's the trail? And I saw this. Looks like it's going up this way, I think. But I think, and then I saw there's a little marker on the tree up there. Okay, there we go. All right, because I was going to go that way. Um, all right, let's just head on up the hill. So as I come to the top here, whoa, check this out. <laughs> Man, I swear, every time I cut the video on, I notice something else just because I'm taking video. But there's another trail going to the left here. I don't, well, I, I don't know if that's this trail. Seems to me the trail just keeps going up the hill here. Huh. And there's a blue mark on the tree. Well, let's just go up the hill here and see where this goes. And maybe I'll see another, because you can see there's a, see the yellow marker on the tree? That's the trail I've been kind of following. And I don't know what the blue mark means. Okay, let's just keep going. Well, I don't know what the blue trail was back there, but we've been kind of sticking to the hunt trail. And I guess the Margaret, we'll have to look at that trail sign when I get back and see where the hell we were. But I'm gonna continue on the hunt because I got all day. And uh, man, it's just, it's perfect day. Now I should have brought water. I would, you know, I, I'm always guilty of that because I, yeah, I am sweating coming up that hill for sure. Uh, but let's, uh, and look at that tree. I mean, this is, this is what, that's a monster. Wow. Anyway, let's keep on going. Well, I've seen my first birds and uh, thank God they got a blue mark on that tree because I thought I was just hiking through the woods here. <laughs> so I'm on, I'm on some sort of a trail. At, uh, and the, the, I wish I could have gotten the birds on there. They were the beautiful uh, blue. Well, I mean, you know, not blue birds, but I mean, they had these beautiful blue colors. Um, so that was pretty cool. All right, but you can kind of see, uh, I'm just taking it nice and slow. I don't want to slip up on these leaves. And thank goodness I brought the walking stick for once. And I'm, I'm, getting, a, I'm getting a little brighter as I go on these hikes, people. You know, you always hear me talking about how stupid I am. Boy, we are really going to have to look at that trail sign. So now I'm coming up and Red Dot goes to the left. And Williams Creek goes straight ahead. What's this sign say? Red Dot Hunt going... Oh! It's showing hunt. I guess this is hunt. This is where we just came from. So imagine red dot might take you back because it looks like it's heading back. But let's go see Williams Creek. I mean, that, that sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? So let's go check it out. So this is Williams Creek. Not much to it. But it is kind of unique in the fact that you've got this land bridge right here and the water is somehow flowing underneath here and I don't even see a pipe. I'm going to put the camera down there. You tell me what you see. Huh. So that's pretty cool. So we're just kind of moving. It looks like the trail's going to kind of move off to the left, which should, well, actually, okay, maybe, never mind. That's just a side creek. This is, this must be Williams Creek. All right, now that makes more sense. Sorry, I, I was just looking at that little land bridge. There it is. So you can see the trail's going to just kind of Loop by the creek. Wow, a lot of, lot to see back here. I don't know. I'm, I, I'm definitely lost at this point. I, I, if I did want to get work my way back, good. But luckily, I got, I got four hours of daylight to try to get back. So, uh, not going to worry too much about it. <clears throat> Just, uh, I've made so many twists and turns and different trails. And let's see, there was Hunt, and then there was Ollie or whatever the other one was. And now we're on Williams Creek and. Uh, and then, of course, we got Red Dot back there, and uh, you know, it reminds me of Liberty Mountain, you know? So many different names, you get back here, and you just got, I, you know, I, and I did have a trail map at my house that I should have brought with me. I just didn't know I was going to find all of this. I thought, you know, because the last time I was here, I couldn't even find a trail. So, anyway, let's, uh, let's just continue to enjoy the day. Look at that. 
That's a unique sight. There was something over there flapping. See the bird? What the, that thing's a monster. What the heck is that? I'll try to get him on the video if I get over there. All right. You know, one thing I hadn't thought about, I did not bring the cell phone. <laughs> I love talking about how stupid I am. I mean, if you, uh, if you had a heart attack back here, got bit by a snake, or chased by a bear, I'm not sure you would be found for quite some time. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's, I mean, it's, uh, it's uh, you're deep in the forest. Look how beautiful that is, though. I mean, I'm enjoying the day, but I got to thinking, I said, you know, because those timber rattlers, they, they get on the side over there, and, you know, sometimes you don't hear them or see them. Well, I've peed on one one time by accident. But uh, anyway, this is kind of what you're seeing. I mean, look at this, uh, the valley here, you know, cut in with all the leaves on the trees. And uh, the feeling of just knowing that you're completely lost at this point. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty wild, pretty wild here. Uh, I sh probably should have brought maybe a cell phone or, you know, one of the problems of hiking by yourself is, yeah, that's that's just the way it is. Look, we got a little side trail here. Let's go over and get uh, just a quick view of the creek off of this trail, because obviously, well, hell, this might be a, this is another trail. <laughs> Who knew? I, I'm not going to follow it because it, what's? Well, I mean, it's for the horses, obviously. You can see the horse prints down here. Okay, so that's a view of the creek. All right, let's uh, let's keep on going, and uh, I don't know. At some point, I do have to start working my way back to the car. I've uh, been out here quite some time at this point. You know, as you're hiking, every now and then something scares the bejeebies out. If something huge hit that water, maybe it's a limb off a tree, but where the hell, what would have fallen? And uh, I, didn't, I don't know, I, I, don't, I don't see anything. Kind of strange. Okay, well, more of the same here. Just hiking along the creek, uh, enjoying it very much. You know, one thing <laughs> that I... Uh, um, look, what Sweetbriar and uh, Liberty Mountain have in common. They identify the trails pretty good. It says Honey Bee to Golden. <clears throat> but it sure would be nice to say occasionally, like, you know, to Boathouse, you know, uh, or Honey Bee to Boathouse or uh, uh, to Gold. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm getting so screwed up here. I don't know. I mean, you could continue along Williams Creek. But I gotta, I mean, it's like, do you keep going forward or do you turn back? And Cause that's a long hike back to get to the car and assuming I make all the right turns, but I guess we'll just go up to Honey Bee to Golden, but cause I think that's the direction to get back to the lake, but let's just give it a try. Hold on. So now I've come up to another trail railroad. I don't even know where Honey bees going. Where'd the trail go? There's a blue mark on the tree. You know what? I'm gonna work my way back and look at that trail map. I hate doing it. I want to keep going, but you know we're getting long in the tooth on this hike, and uh, you know I can't uh, can't just. Oh, there's a blue mark on the tree. Okay, so the trail's going that way. But uh, I, I, without knowing, without a trail map, let's just head back. I hate to do it. Tag on it. Um, and then we'll look at the trail map and just see where we went and then plan maybe one more hike here at uh, Sweetbriar and I'll get that on the video next time. All right, uh, peace out, stay free. Let's do the mantra. Freedom, oh freedom. Good to someday be back in the free state of Florida where we have no vaccine mandates, no jab requirements, no mask requirements, and we are free to come and do as we please under the great leadership of Governor DeSantis. And if you're a Democrat, make sure you go to, go to California. You'll be welcome there. You know, they got those high taxes. Be sure and pay those. And then, uh, or go to New York, help them out, you know, um, or any other Democrat state, but don't come to Florida. So on my way back, you know, they got a little ribbon there in the tree. They used to do that similarly at, at uh, Liberty Mountain, I guess just to signify that you're on the trail. Well, look at here. I mean, if you really wanted to come back and get lost, here's an unmarked trail where you could just go off in that direction. Probably a deer trail or some sort. I don't see any markings on it. So, but anyway, just wanted to show you that little side trail. That'd be pretty cool. 
man, you could really, you could really hike around back here for quite some time. This is absolutely, I'm, I think I'm going to delay heading back to Florida. I'm just, I'm like, I got to come back out here. I got to come back out. I mean, I mean, multiple times. This is just, I mean, you know, Florida's beautiful. And I want to do that seven mile loop down in Homosassa. But, uh, but we, we got to get some more hikes in here. This is just outstanding. So on the way back, <clears throat> I didn't notice this on the way out. This is pretty cool. Because I was looking down going, well, yeah, look at all that. <clears throat> of course, I'm coughing my head off. The pollen's gotten to me. <clears throat> I'm not quite used to it here. Look at this. It's actually a dam right there. And the water kind of goes down into the creek right there. So that thought, and so you could see it's hardly moving here. And then, of course, you, it's moving down here. Anyway, I just, just noticed that on the way back. You know, hiking back, <clears throat> I don't know if I got these on the video, but isn't that pretty? I'll have actually one, two, three, four, five, six leaves. And just kind of going along the trail here. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Anyway, it's kind of kind of growing up on both sides of the trail. All right. So on the way back, there's the dam with the water coming out. We might do some more hiking today. I'm just gonna look at the trail map. I didn't want to get completely lost. I mean, I, I was pretty lost, but I was able to figure out. Check out the deer. There's two of them. Man, we're seeing the wildlife today, aren't we? Holy moly. All right. So it took me a minute to figure this out. So we, we got onto buck, which turned into hunt. Okay, and then we came down this way to Williams Creek. Now, I, I mean, we were pretty far along. Well, we got up here to railroad. Too bad I didn't take railroad because then I could have gotten on the main and just done a loop and then come on back to the, to the lake here. <clears throat> so maybe uh, next time I come, we'll uh, maybe take Hunt. Or no, we'll just take Maine. That'll be a whole new hike. And go over here to Oak Tree, maybe go up to Pixley and over Preston. So like I said, you could really hike around back here for quite some time. Um, it's pretty cool. I'm going to see... Uh, Let's go down here to the boathouse and see if there's a bathroom in there for the public to use. Let's, let's go find, find that out for, for the video. So I thought I'd go out on the boathouse dock here. Check out the fish, man. This one yeah, was closed. I said they was doing a structural trick. There you can see, can you see the fish? Man, there must be a lot of fish in this lake. But uh, this is pretty cool. By the way, I chased off a liberal. <laughs> I told her, you know, I said, yeah, I'm from Florida. You know, I said, we never even paid attention to that whole COVID stuff, you know. So nobody, you know, wore a mask or did anything down in Florida, you know. And uh, and, and she goes, I can't talk to you. I can't talk to you. And, and then she actually ran away. I mean, it was unbelievable. Hey, there's the, uh, there's the geese still over here. Uh, man, a lot of fish in this lake. Anybody ever fish it? Oh, okay, yeah. You're not supposed to fish off of these docks. Okay. But. Yeah, I've been, I've, you can see them right down there in the water. There's, there's one right there. Yeah. Yeah, man, I tell you. 